Okay, I'm going to go through a quick how-to on how to use the uh, ECS uh, backup, uh, Toto or Tudu, I don't know how to pronounce this stuff, they, uh, one of those things that uh, you never really know exactly how to pronounce it. I'm actually on their website right now, uh, it would be really neat to have a little uh, audio thing to say, this is how you pronounce our software, but anyway, they don't have that. Um, basically, how you, you know, find it, just Google. Uh, ECS backup. And the very first thing you're going to see is their, you know, very first link is going to be to their uh, website. And if you just go to data backup, you'll have uh, the free uh, data backup that is what I'm using. It's extremely user friendly, easy to use. Um, and uh, I'm going to kind of go through and show you how to use it. Um, I'm starting off by going to their website first because I've read reviews and one of the reviews that I read uh, was a negative review and it was specifically uh, negative because they didn't know how to install it. And um, here you've got your various links um, that you can click on to go to the download. You can go to download.com and uh, there it is, the very first one. Um, download now. And um, it's a it's a zip file and nothing nothing really fancy about a zip file. Um, I've already installed it, so you, what you're seeing here is the, the number of times I've downloaded it. Um, it'll download. Um, you unzip it, click on the install, and you install it just like you would anything else. Um, that being said, and uh, for keeping this uh, uh, video from being too too long, I'm going to go right on into um, how to use this software. Um, user control, uh, access control, I'm using Windows 7 so of course it's got the fancy user control stuff to to make sure I, that uh, I don't do something that I don't want to normally do because um, uh, unlike most people I don't know what the heck I'm doing so uh, Microsoft's really good about making sure that they, they look out for us um, one of the, the nicer things about Microsoft is, is how much they care about us all. Anyway, that being said, here's the uh, software uh, program that uh, I've got opened up for the easiest uh, Toto Tudu backup. And um, first thing I recommend doing is to create a, um, a boot disk. Um, your, your backup is not going to work if uh, when you need it if you don't have a boot disk um, so you can go and you can create an image and, and have an image and, and have it available so that if something happens to your computer uh, you can go and get that image but if you don't have a boot disk um, to boot into the software uh, and, and get that image you're, you're pretty much uh, screwed so uh, here we are we're, we've got the main um, window open go to tool and create bootable disk and uh, here I've got my two what you're looking at are my two uh, DVD drives this is my DVD writer and um, I would simply put in a uh, CDR or a DVDR uh, doesn't matter if it's uh, a plus or a minus uh, pop it in there and uh, do proceed it's not giving me an error right now because I don't have a disk in there right now. I've already created the disk. It's fairly straightforward. Just pop it in there, create your disk, um, and let it run, and you're, you're good to go. Um, I've got the disk already made. I've already tested it. Uh, computer boots uh, from the disk, and it boots right into this, what you're seeing right here with this software, uh, which is exactly what you want um, when you're you know needing to, to go and get your image. So, again, step one is tools create your bootable disk once that's done just, uh, file that away with all your important disks uh, as I'm sure you have a folder with your important disks uh, as everybody does okay once that's done um, you want to go ahead and do a backup and so this is scanning my uh, computer and checking out all the stuff 
And, and here's what it's found. I've got all kinds of stuff. Uh, this is a, an external disc here. These are some other discs. Um, my only main thing I'm concerned about, um, because these are uh, discs that are on the computer that are just file discs. They aren't the main operating system discs. Uh, the only thing I'm really worried about is my, uh, my C drive here. And uh, that is all I'm really worried about. It's already checked. Just keep everything default. You don't have to get fancy. Um, where do I want this to go? Right now, it's set again to go to the free agent drive, which is my external drive. Um, got it labeled as my back. You can label it whatever you want. PBD, that's the uh, the image file for the ECS backup. And then you click next. User default option. Uh, again, just keep everything at defaults. If you want to put some notes uh, so that later on you can see why you did the backup. Um, I've uh, just installed um, my uh, BSR screen recorder, which is how I'm doing this software, and my Ultramon software for my dual monitors. And so I want to do is uh, get an image. Uh, now that I've got this other stuff installed on it, I want to do an image um, so that when I have to replay it later, I get all the everything that's current on there. And so these are my notes. Again, you don't need you have to put those in there if you don't need want to. Uh, you click proceed, and it is now um, creating my image. Um, probably take eh, 20 minutes to a half hour, uh, depending on your computer um, and uh, how much stuff you have. Um, you just let it run and your image will be done and then if uh, you ever need to, to um, grab that image again make sure you're not saving that image to uh, your main hard drive that you're working off of because the whole purpose of this is when that hard drive goes bad uh, you're able to go pop in a new hard drive and replay your image onto that hard drive and get right back to where you were so again, I'm using an external disk. I'll also save my image to uh, one of my uh, other file disks on the computer, so I'll have it in a couple of different places, um, just as, as a disaster recovery, um, extra extra protection. Um, let it run, and, and that's as simple as as it is using the software. Um, again, I've used uh, paid versions uh, of backup software. Um, came across this which is a free version and uh, it, it works great I haven't had uh, any any issues with it um, I will be testing it uh, to see uh, what it's like to to replay an image um, but I from what I've seen so far I don't see it being an, an issue so there you go